Um, uh, this is a Taxo T146RB. Uh, this threading lesson that I'm going to do is for a Taxo 199R also. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to start here going from our thread stand. Your thread stand is going to be on the side of the table. Um, we're going to go like this through one of these and through another. Now you don't necessarily have to do it this way. If you really want to be simple you could just go through one of them but then the thread could be flopping around. So. For all intents and purposes, we're going to do it this way. We're going to go through one, two, and now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hold the thread nice and tight. I'm going to have the presser foot in the up position. Okay, and this is very important. We want to go through the tension discs. You don't want to go behind the disc or in front of the disc. Through the discs, and I'm going to come up and over that check spring under this L bracket here. Okay, you see how that's done? And you know you did it right if you're pulling on and you see that check spring move. Okay, I'm going to still be holding both threads. You might not be able to see this in my hand in the way, but I went through that guide right there. Okay. Now you can let go of the other thread. And then we're going to go through the, the take-up lever. Okay. And I'm holding again, and I'm going to go through this guide. Okay, and then the guide on the bottom. Now I'm going to bring the needle up a little bit and I'm going to go through this top guide right above the eye of the needle. Okay, now you can put your foot in the down, well actually you could leave it in the outback because I could see it. Okay, because of this guard here, you could take this guard off if it's easier for you to thread the machine. Now I'm going to go through the front of the needle here. Try and grab it without getting a tweezer. Yep, I got it. Okay, and then I'm going to put it through this hole on the presser foot. Okay, now, bottom case. If you see the bobbin case here, it doesn't matter which way the thread goes, counterclockwise or clockwise. This slot is the most important thing on the bobbin case here. We're going to put the, the bobbin in the bobbin case. We're going to grab our thread and I'm going to go through that little slot. And then I'm going to go and pull it hard out this edge here. If you could see that, can you, is it clear in the video, Jose? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then just make sure that this comes out nice and freely. All right. So now we're going to put this into the machine. When we put it in the machine, we're going to want to hold, oh, Actually, no, we're not finished. So on this bobbin case, there's a little front, little uh, circular piece. If you can see that, I'm gonna let me do it one more time. So once I'm through here, I'm gonna turn the bobbin case, and then I'm gonna go into that little circular piece, and the thread comes out through the top. Okay. Now hold the bobbin case like this. Don't hold it from the clip. The clip is to take the bobbin case out of the machine. So. I want to hold the bobbin case not like this when I'm putting it in, but just from the bottom here. Okay, you can show, if you can show the side of the machine. Alright, so now what I want to do is get my hand underneath here. here. Let me actually tilt the machine up. I'm going to show you. Tilt it up here. Okay, I'm sorry. Go from the front view, Jose. I put the bobbin case in. Okay, and then what I'm going to want to do is hear this click. And now we're ready to pull the top thread up. I'm going to turn the wheel. One whole turn until this take-up lever goes all the way back up. Thread comes up. Okay, now I'm going to grab a little screwdriver here. You can grab whatever you want to get that little the bobbin thread out. And now you're ready to sew. Now, a uh, couple things. This is your reverse, pretty easy. This thing right here is your your stitch length, and then this is the stitch width. Uh, the only other thing I do want to mention is the needle. And let me grab a needle. Just to keep focused on there. I'm going to grab a needle so I can show them how to put the needle in. Alright. 
So if we look at the needle here, the back of the needle here has this little groove on the bottom. That groove goes, goes, goes toward the back of the machine. So I would want this flipped around and the needle is going to go in. Let me get that closer like that. Okay, so there's a groove along the front of the needle. You put your nail in. But that little cutout at the bottom of the needle goes to the back of the machine. And make sure the needle goes all the way up. So when you do put it in here, you loosen the screw right here. Make sure the needle goes all the way up to the top. Okay? And if you're having any problems, just give us a call. You can reach us at 888-505-4565. I'm Steve from SewingGold.com. Thank you.